Wait, th th those don't... Oh, the upper lip doesn't have a hitbox, but the lower lip does. That's kind of interesting. Nacelle just got coming to you guys with part 8 of Spyro Year of the Dragon, part of the Reignited Trilogy. So today we'll be doing Spooky Swamp, which is sadly one we have to pay money bags in. So say goodbye to any gems you earn here, which sucks, but don't worry, money bags will get what's coming to them soon enough. So we do have a skill point here, which is just destroying all of these piranha signs, which is super easy to do. Uh, there's only a little bit of this level that's annoying to deal with, and that's the Sheila section, like I mentioned in a previous video. And you only have to flame four of these to get... Well, actually, I don't even think that's for an egg. I think it's to unlock the area, an area to go to an egg. Yeah, this level also has... Ow. A wide array of enemies. They have, like, ones with projectiles. They have, like, bitey-bitey ones. They even have aerial ones, like these mosquitoes. Which are just a pain in the butt to deal with, but still pretty unique. The music here is also pretty good, too. I'll give the uh, music composers that. This level always had pretty darn good music. Almost feel. Almost feel. Almost felt out of place for a Spyro game, you know? I guess that could be said for a lot of games where, mu where music in a level just feels like it doesn't belong, despite it being really good. And that being the thing. Like, some games that are really bad have some really good music, and it just, like, makes you go, well, why does this game get this good of a soundtrack, considering it's, you know, complete and utter trash? And that's just the way that video games work. Sometimes the music crew is way more uh, into the game or into the passion project than others are. We got a free egg just chilling on an island over here. We got Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, Michael J. Fox, Michael Myers, Mike Myers. I don't know, whatever the many guys with the very same name you guys want to pick and choose. <laughs> Wait, what the heck did I hear laughing over there? Because it wasn't one of the enemies walking around the level. Yeah, because I hear an enemy laughing through the wall. Which is kind of weird, honestly. Oh, that's a piranha sign. Don't mind if I destroy that. There wasn't actually very many gems in there, to be honest with you. There's an egg in a tree! Oh. Oh, yeah. By the way, the water has piranhas in it, but the piranhas in the remake don't seem to be as aggressive. They're kind of... You know, kind of dopey. Which is kind of sad, because... It feels like there's not much of a challenge if you fall in the water, which there should be. They could have just made it lava or something instead. Or like goop or something. So, you know, it actually posed somewhat of a threat, but for whatever reason, they didn't do that. They just made it super easy to deal with. This door is jammed shut. Only the power of gems can hope to move it. Oh, great. You've made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you, and more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro, I can stop speaking haiku. What a sweet relief. All it is is very specific um, amount of, what is it, syllables per line? And it's been a while since I did haikus. Honestly, the most boring form of poetry, because it's just like... doesn't really have... A, a good gimmick to it. It's just kind of generic. And you're all dead. Can you stop eating a butterfly and just pick up the gems? You have one job. You didn't need to eat anything, Sparks. And there's the skill point. Super easy. The next one that we can get will unlock us the first of the concept art. But at the same time, it's super annoying. So yeah, see, this one wasn't worth the egg. This one unlocks the capability to get an egg. So, four minutes in and we're already at the end of the level. But once again, we all know how this game works. Getting to the end of the level is the easy part. It's everything else that's the annoying, obnoxious part. What the heck was that? I just slid down the tree. 
I've never had that happen before, but this game, like a lot of people mentioned, outside of, like, Enter the Dragonfly, probably the most buggy Spyro game to ever be released, which is really sad, because it's a remake, or not a remake, a remaster of, uh, the other Spyro games. Now, I don't think you can actually make that over there. No, you can't, which sucks. For whatever reason, you do have to backtrack a few times. Now, the next level, happily, is a very, 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 very short level, because we can't 100% complete it, even though, despite being able to 100% complete it, it maybe be like a 10-minute level, something like that. Might be a little longer than that, just because of, like, certain mini-games and stuff, but... Even the birthday unlock is just a casual, just nice, fun part of the level. And we have Frank Sinatra. Isn't that only our second egg? Because two of them are in the Sheila part. One of them is forgetting to the end. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just missing the ones at the very end of the level. All the eggs, by the way, are surprisingly towards the end of the level. And, ooh, that was a 25 in there. See, that's the one thing with Enchanted Towers. Oh, great, we're in the water. Well, there's the piranhas. It takes them a while to get to you. The sad part is, is we literally paid them 500 gems, and you get 500 gems in the level, so I hate when that happens. Money bags should never charge you more than what you get in the level. You are brave, dragon. Much braver than I by far. Here, take this darn egg. Alright, we got Thelonious Viper from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Such a weird name. Like, it's a cool name, but such a weird name to have in here. Alright, so we have a mini-boss. It seems like every Spyro game has always had like some form of mini-boss. So for this... What you want to do is you just want to wait for him to throw a bomb, and then, you know, you light it. Alright, I guess technically you charge it. Same as the Yak. Oh, no, the Yak was flame. And then every time you hit him, he'll summon three of these crocodile lizard dudes, and then he'll drop a bomb again. And just rinse and repeat. Also, I don't know why he's sleeping in, like, a rainy little arena room. Seems kind of weird. He takes four hits to kill. Honestly, in this game, the bosses aren't even, like, difficult. Spyro 2 had the most difficult bosses. Spyro 1 had actual levels to their bosses, so the bosses weren't just the main focus. And this game, honestly, it's the challenges. So each game kind of has, like, their own little gimmick that they try and focus on. And this one is not the bosses. Though, despite the bosses actually being decently unique, the second boss is kind of like the second and third boss from Spyro 2. In the original, he get knocked back and an egg would appear, but Herbie, fully loaded. And then you just teleport out. Now we get to go to Sheila. This swamp smells so sweet. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna ignore the eggs for the time being, because there is kind of a cheat you can do to this level. It's not going to make things super easy for you, so don't think you're just going to get away with getting, like, the eggs for free. But, as you play throughout the level, if you clear out the rocks, they don't respawn. Only the mushrooms can, you know, do their thing. So you'll see mushrooms. Just go around the level, collect all the gems first. This should be where the rest of the gems in the level are. And while you're doing that, just destroy the rocks. Just like so, and then these rocks won't be here when you have to escort those fireflies to get the eggs. Which is super convenient. And makes this a heck of a lot easier. And kaboom! And alley -oop. And that was just worth a 10. Nothing to scoff at. Ten dollars worth of gems is pretty nice. It'd be nice to find gems laying around in real life that are worth this much money, though. Like, let's be honest here. And once again... Was that nine or ten? That might have been just nine gems, and I'm pretty sure one of these walls is... Is this one the breakable one? Yeah, it's hard to tell, because this is the way it looks. Well, there's definitely a breakable wall. 
Also, there's not a lot of gems in this level. Like, there's 500 total gems. But there's not a lot of actual physical gems, so there's a lot of bigger gems, so 10s, 25s, stuff like that throughout the level. So like I said, destroy the mushrooms. Or destroy the mushrooms, destroy the rocks, not the mushrooms. You can't really destroy the mushrooms. They'll pop back up, so they're going to be the main focus of the challenge. Because there's two eggs over here and two fireflies back there, so you can kind of guess exactly what you're doing. And see what I said about the big gems. Yeah, and see there's a 25. So, now we just gotta casually take a stroll back to the guys over here. Yeah, this is my least favorite challenge probably in the entire world. Not just level. And yeah, like I said, we have to escort them. I'm pretty sure the second one, once you figure out the pattern, it's a lot easier. So this guy sticks to the sidewalk. Or, like, I guess the pathway. So you just go to this mushroom and you wait over here. And these things do pop up relatively quick. So be careful. And then that one, you should be able to ignore this one because it's not technically part of the sidewalk. Then I'm pretty sure this one you have to do twice. I'm pretty sure he does, like, a weird loop around with this one. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna turn around here in a second. And for whatever reason, it didn't let me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, his is the most annoying because of that one specific spot. So, like, you have to wait to go all the way over here. Like so. And unlike the original Spire, you can't just spam the, uh... You can't just spam the... Sp the, the smash button, or the pound button, while on the mushroom, which is really, really annoying. So I think what we want to do for this one is we want to wait till he's a little further away than normal, and then have him go over right as it's about to do this, and then do this again. And then we gotta go to this one over here and pound this one in, and then we should have one left. And that's it. So there's our first of the two eggs from this. There we go. Nice. Peggy from Married with Children. One egg cage remains. Will you now? Yeah, luckily you can teleport back. Yes. Now him, I'm a little unsure. I always forget like where his pathway is, but I'm pretty sure for the most part, he kind of just shortcuts it. Okay, so yeah, he doesn't go to that one. I'm pretty sure it's this one is the first one that he goes over. No, it's not even that mushroom. Is it this mushroom? Okay, no, it's that mushroom. Okay, so you don't actually have to deal with any of the mushrooms to get to that one, so I guess we just wait for him over there, right? Which one did I say it was? It was this one, way over here that he goes to. Now where is he? Yeah, see, he's like... He goes towards the rocks. That's what he goes towards. And which one of these? Is it... Oh, balls. I don't know if he comes back to this one. I don't think he does, but... Uh-oh. No. Oh my god, I thought he got hit by that one, but... Luckily you never have to... See, he's easier than the first one. But there we go, that's the final egg here. Nice. Michelle Obama. The eggs are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're done the level. So now we can just click exit area. And then we can just go through the exit portal and be done with this level and go to Bamboo Terrace. So let's leave. Right. Yeah, so you're going to notice that the levels are going to get... The levels in this game are a lot longer because of the challenges. Luckily we don't have to pay money bags in the next level. Alright. 
So, last but not least is Bamboo Ter- We did the Speedway, right? Yeah, we did the Speedway. So, just making sure we didn't miss anything. So next we have Bamboo Terrace. Probably my favorite level in this world. Is it in my- it's favorite level in the game? No, my favorite level is technically in the last world. So, this level's just got your typical, like, you gotta help the, the good guys, you know, they'll help you get to the next zone if you defeat the enemies and stuff. And they'll do stuff like this where they just move obstacles out of your way. So, yeah, why you can't complete this level is because you're probably wondering, well, there's probably a third character you unlock, right? In the next world, that'll you'll have to backtrack at some point. Yep, and that's for this level. Funny that... Is it usually the last level? I think it's usually the last level that uh, you can't 100% complete, but... Except for the first world, because I'm pretty sure Seashell Shores was technically the last level of the world. Hey, look, a free egg just chilling there. So let's grab it. We got Dwight Fairfield from Dead by Daylight. Oh yeah, uh, to get that we have to go up a different pathway. And these guys are gonna open up a bridge for us, which is super handy dandy. Oh yeah, watch out for these enemies that kind of like float down to kill you. The worst enemy in this level, and probably in this game, is this enemy right here. Because if you don't trigger him to float down, he'll float down on top of you and smack you. And we don't have our second egg, Madison Square Gardens. Alright. Like I said, this level is just really nice. Like, it's beautiful, it, the music here is catchy and not over the top. It's vibrant, it's just fun, It feels like a breath of fresh air compared to some of the other levels, though it doesn't really bring anything new to the table, where, you know, it makes the game any easier or harder. It does have one annoying egg to get, though. I guess that's the thing. But one annoying egg that's not even really hard is better than... There's a level called Lost Fleet in the game, and it is by far my least favorite level in the entire game, followed by Enchanted Towers, just because I feel like Enchanted Towers, while not a bad level, is just super bland. It just looks like reused assets from the other games. With really weird characters that you don't really feel sorry for nor really want to help because they're just weird hipsters. But that's just personal preference, I guess. I know a lot of people that actually do thoroughly enjoy the level. I just personally do not enjoy the level. I think it's just really, really mediocre. And it took up an entire episode of recording, so... Yeah, I can't say much about that either. Or anything good about that. If you don't flame them, they'll uh, just kind of like... Die like normal enemies, but if you flame them, they'll shoot off like fireworks, which is... Kind of a cool touch. And the Mystery Vaz. It's been a while since we actually dealt with one of those. And like I said, you cannot get all the gems here, or all the eggs. But I do recommend getting all of the gems that you can possibly get before leaving. To, that way you just have to beat the final part and that's it. And this thing's super easy. Like it barely moves. Though I do recommend getting the uh, the, the egg here. Oh! The emergency escape bridge! Why didn't I think of it sooner? I shall activate it right away! Okay, sing sing. Yeah, because this, this is going to unlock another egg, as well as a challenge, as well as shortcuts, so we you might want to get that. You would accept this as a token of our appreciation. Alright, Tom. Tomcat. Yeah, see, because now we hear a nan 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 nan. Been a while since we dealt with the thief. We only... The last one we dealt with was at the, uh... The entrance to, um, Midday Gardens. Or entrance, the just midday gardens, the home world, not even a level. Though technically, we only started the levels a few episodes ago, so I guess that's a thing. Out of the way, enemy. This thief needs to die. Thief, get back here. There we go. 
Pee Wee Herman. Nerd. Nerd alert. Now, I believe the, um, mystery vase. I believe they call it a mystery vase. Yeah, it was over here. And that's literally in the exact same area, just behind us. Like, over there. I don't know why the camera didn't turn around with me, but sure. Hmm, interesting. And it should be right at the end of the level, and like I said... Oh, no, never mind. We have to destroy it once more after this, or, yeah, once more after this. And it'll go to the beginning, and then... Because we opened up the emergency bridge... We can now go do that egg challenge immediately after. There was no gems or anything in that part of the level. There's actually well over 100 gems in the, uh... The second part, or like the, the buddy part of the level. Yeah, because now he's pointing way over there, so we know we 100% the level outside of that. Please help us, Spyro. My friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the fields. Those rotten Rhinox keep knocking them down. Can you save the panda workers? Sure. Please hop aboard. Now, the issue is you can actually knock them down yourself and screw them over. So, be careful with that. So, you go into first person mode, and then you'll have to flame these guys and prevent them from. Wait, is th th those don't. Oh, the upper lip doesn't have a hitbox, but the lower lip does. That's kind of interesting. This doesn't feel as smooth as the original, despite the original being harder. Especially if you didn't have the PS1 controller with the analog stick at the time. This was a lot more difficult with, um... With a D-pad than an analog stick. Luckily your fireballs seem to have an infinite range. Now you'll have to loop around and redo it. Also, I love how like you have to wait till your whole loop around to deal with those ones. And now you'll have them float down from the heavens as these guys try and open up bridges to get across. So I'm assuming these guys work in like rice fields. Or I know this would be bamboo, but bamboo would be forest, so I'm assuming rice fields. What kind of field would a panda worker like work in exactly? Like I'm not actually entirely sure, like. Also that bridge opened up slower than it should have. I think there's three bridges that you gotta deal with. But like, I wanna know what the heck a panda bear would work out in a field, because pandas mainly Please eat bamboo. Take the shiny egg. It will bring you good luck. I'm sure, Shuey. Rusty. Rusty Pete from Ratchet and Clank. Except it was a girl. Was not expecting a girl dragon to be named Rusty. I because the only Rusties that are usually ever known are dudes, and it's usually not even the real name, it's usually a nickname because they're like a mechanic, or like some kind of, like, you know, guy who deals with machines. It, why do I keep doing the exact same thing? I'm expecting different results. That's chaos. Anyways, we beat this level. I think we only got 300 and some gems from this, right? I think we just... Yeah, we only got 311. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and I will see you guys all next time as we actually Let's beat this world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whirly gig. And there we have it. That's where we're going next time, to the boss. And the camera angle's just turned around. Nice.